Hi, hello everyone. <coughs> Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you, Miguel? How is your flu going on? Um, uh, I'm sick. I'm oh. sorry, but I'm here. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. I got you. I got you back. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, what about the rest of the people? How are you doing, Cindy, Allison, Walter? I'm good. What about you? Pretty, pretty good, I might say. It's Friday, all right? So I really want to rest. But yes. <laughs> pretty good. I won't complain. Let's okay, see. perfect. <laughs> perfect, Cindy. What about Alison? How are you? <laughs> How are you, Alison? I'm fine. Excellent. Good to listen that. What about Mayra, Wendy? How are you, girls? Ajá. OK. No conecten solo las cámaras, no conecten solo la, el dispositivo y ustedes se marchen de la clase porque yo me doy cuenta. OK. I know. I know. Pero yo sé que están ahí porque Mayra siempre abre la, la cámara. So let's check. Um, OK. Now, let's check this one, everyone. Does it have a view? Officially, class number four. <laughs> Qué bueno que tuvimos clase este día, que tenemos clase este día, porque si no se atrasarían demasiado con el contenido. Okay? So with that, you don't. Let's check. Do you remember? Ustedes no saben, pero yo les cuento que en mis clases siempre tengo una parte que dice, ¿te recuerdas? Right? Do you remember? <laughs> So, eso es para ver el contenido si nosotros lo re hemos repasado, si lo conocemos o lo tenemos en mente. Dice, mention at least three vocabulary words related to house and apartment. Pero eso todavía no lo hemos visto, ¿ok? Pero quería mostrarles que tenemos esa parte en mi clase siempre, most of the time. Pero sé que no hemos visto las parts of the house, así que no, no les voy a preguntar eso. <laughs> Let's check. Nos vamos a mover al practice time. Esto sí ya lo vimos. Cindy, can you read this, please? The instructions. Create three sentences using the following verbs. Has, goes, do. 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 Does. Yes. In number two, share. Share your sentences with the class. Excellent. Thank you, girl. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Bye. Tres oraciones. Ya saben ustedes que si, si estamos utilizando el has, goes y does, ¿por qué? ¿Para quiénes aplican esos verbos así en irregular? Third person. Yes, that's third correct. Person. Bravo. Very good. All right. Así que tres oraciones en third person singular, utilizando estos tres verbos.
for the rest of the students that are just getting into the classroom, para el resto de estudiantes que están entrando en el salón de clase, necesito tres oraciones utilizando has, goes, and does. All right? Please remember that it's in third person singular. Tres de cada una o una de cada una? No, one, two, three. One per each. Una de cada una, Andy. Two, um, one or two more minutes, okay? So let's try to, to work on it. The people who already finished, los que ya finalizaron, let's wait for your classmates to finish. Vamos a esperar a que sus compañeros finalicen. Okay, I am assuming that you already finished. All right, or are you still missing? Tell me yes or no. Me avisan si ya finalizaron o si todavía necesitan más tiempo. <laughs> Guadalupe is like, oh, ni modo. <laughs> Let's check what we have. Okay, perfect. Miguel, excellent. <laughs> Let's start with your examples, please. Iniciamos con sus ejemplos. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um she has a wheelchair. All right. Yes. Um <clears throat> another statement. Uh he goes very hard. He goes really hard. Oh, very hard. Yeah, it's okay. Very very hard. And uh the third one. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. That is the pronunciation, but that. The, yeah, uh, it does piece of cake. All right, let's check. In that one, it does piece of cake. Mm, no. Okay. Let's try to fix that one. Busquemos otra para eso. ¿Por qué, Miguel? Porque it does. Um, ¿Qué quiere transmitir usted con esa sentence, con ese statement en español? Que es pan comido. <laughs> ah, entonces, es. Escuché su traducción. Es pan comido. Okay. Esto significa verb to be, cero estar. Mm, ser okay. es. Okay? 
Entonces, sin el auxiliar y nada. Ah, it's a piece of cake. Tendría que ser. It's, ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Right? That's correct. The, the rest is perfect. Las demás están perfectas. Thank you. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. Let's go with Sonia and then Guadalupe. <coughs> Tonight, Linda ¿Sí? has a lot of money. Uh -huh. She does not, she does read the newspaper in the morning. He goes to the library. All right. Library. Library. Vaya, en la segunda usted me está utilizando un auxiliar y un verbo en afirmativo y eso no se puede hacer. So, she does, she does the reading, creo que dijo. No, she does. Repita la dos. Read the newspaper. She does read the newspaper, all right? Usualmente no utilizamos la estructura así porque eh, es como usted, que si usted estuviera reafirmando algo y ya hasta cierto punto le puede sonar pesado a la persona, all right? Entonces ahí solo tiene que cambiar el, el resto de la oración, por así decirlo. Puede decir, she does, eh, she does her daily reading. Ella hace su lectura diaria. She does her daily reading. She does her daily cleaning. She does the cleaning. All right. Ahí sí puede hacerlo. Pero no podemos mezclarlo con otro verbo at the same time. Let's check Guadalupe. Action. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Welcome. Ok. Uh, number one. My sister has a new apartment in downtown. Number two, my brother goes to the beach on weekends. And number three, she does the laundry on Saturday. That's correct. She does the laundry on Saturday. Very good. Excellent. Hace la lavada el sábado. <laughs> o lava el sábado. Very good. <clears throat> Another one. Alguien más? What about Cindy? Ah, Cindy le leí la mente. <laughs> Action. First, my father goes by his car to the supermarket. Second, Lucy does her homework after dinner. And third, Mark has a big family. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Those are correct. Let's go with the next one. Alguien más? Mayra, perfect. Action. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, number one, uh, Tatiana, my friend, has a nice house. Uh -huh. uh, number two, Emily does her homework on time. Uh -huh. Number three, Harry goes to school by bus. Harry goes. Harry goes. Harry es nombre. Es yes, pero, perdón, le escuché Javier o Javi. Pero Harry, ya tomando el nombre, Harry goes. Uh, Harry goes to uh -huh. school. Goes. Very good, excellent, thank you. Están correctas, Mayra, excelente. Qué bueno que participó. Gracias. Let's go with the next one. What about Wendy Lopez? Your microphone, Wendita. My sister has a car and she has a beautiful dress. My brother does homework at afternoon and the train goes downtown. Bravo, very good, excellent. What about um, Alison? When she has a new car, he goes to the park, he does play soccer. Very good, excellent, thank you. Um, He, he plays soccer, sería lo correcto, <coughs> all right? He does okay. play soccer. Si usted me dice he does play soccer, me está diciendo como él sí juega fútbol. 
All right? Me está reafirmando algo. Uh, bueno. Yeah, so we Thank you. Be careful with that. You're welcome. Let's go with Andrea Esmeralda. Okay. My brother has a beautiful eyes. He does the breakfast every day and he goes to the school every day. Perfect. Solo que no me diga a beautiful eyes porque me está diciendo tiene eh, uno, uno ojos. Uno ojos me está diciendo. Entonces quítele la A. My brother has beautiful eyes. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. What about Oscar? <coughs> Uh, my brother-in-law goes to the disco. Uh -huh. My mom does enjoy trips with uh -huh. me only. <laughs> I'm her favorite. <laughs> yeah. My sister has a bicycle. Has a bicycle. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Jose Pedro? Hello, teacher. Uh, 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 Peter has no car. She goes to school. She doesn't play piano. All right, excellent. Thank you, Jose. We had a bit of interruption in number three, but <clears throat> I was able to understand. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with Walter Muñoz. Okay, we don't have Walter. Let's go with Jancy de Odanis. Good, good evening, Miss. Good evening. Um, Pedro goes to gym in the night. Goes to the gym. Goes to the gym in the night. Kathy has a beautiful hair. <coughs> Luis. Does his for uh, pardon, Luis does his food for the lunch tomorrow? All right. Uh, can you repeat number one, please? Me repite la número uno, por favor. Pedro goes goes to the gym in the night. At night, sería. I think at night. At night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, am I missing someone? Me hace falta alguien en esta práctica de pasar? Now, if you didn't pass, get worried. Si usted no pasó por miedo porque no lo hizo, preocupémonos un poquito porque yo estoy para ayudarles, ¿ok? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now, let's check. Vocabulary housing apartment. ¿Sí pueden ver la plataforma conmigo? Yes. Yes. Now, let's yes, listen to Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary from talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. A house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. <laughs> Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise,
please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Listen up. Como eso lo tienen que poner aquí porque es parte de la participation de ustedes. Vamos a verlo ahorita. Ok. Y este, let me check. Quiero ver. Where is this practice? Ok. Vamos a hacer la practice así. Como ya escuchamos el vocabulary y habrán podido escuchar que estoy un poquito mala de, de la voz, ¿ok? <clears throat> Tengo muchísima tos, I don't know why. Eh, voy a pedirles directamente a ustedes que me entreguen el vocabulary hablado, ¿ok? So, with that being said, let's get started. Vamos a iniciar con eso y luego vamos a poner las tres preguntas y les voy a dar tiempo para que trabajemos en eso, ¿ok? Vocabulary, house, and apartment. Let's start with, vamos a iniciar con Andrea Esmeralda, please, action. Excuse me. Tell me the eh, vocabulary. ¿Qué es lo que tengo que hacer? Perdón. Me va a entregar el vocabulario, me lo va a decir, please. Lo de la pantalla. Yes. Ahorita están viendo el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Sí. Great. House okay. and apartment. House. First floor. First floor. Dining room. Kitchen. Living room. Yard. Laundry room. Tires. Stairs. Second floor. Bedroom. Ma stairs. Second floor. Bedroom, closet, bedroom, another bedroom, hall, another bedroom, stairs, bathroom, and garage. Apartment. Bathroom, bedroom, closet, closet, dining room, living room, kitchen, and elevator. And lobby. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Just repeat after me. <clears throat> Solo repita después de mí. Dining room. Dining room. Yes. Esa fue la única, right? Dining room. Thank you. Ahora, eh, solo denme un minutito. Voy a agregarles aquí la otra slide de las preguntas. Ok, let's continue with this. Vamos con, el siguiente, con la siguiente que sería Cindy, please. Action. Uh, first floor. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, yard, garage. Second floor. Bedroom, bedroom, closet, hall, stairs, Bedroom, bathroom, apartment, bedroom, bathroom, dining room, closet, kitchen, living room, and the bill. That's correct. Thank you so much, Cindy. Now, everyone, let's notice the pronunciation on first floor. This is not for you, Cindy. You were okay, okay? Solo que había olvidado eso en anterior. First floor, second floor, okay? No podemos decir fish floor aquí porque me están diciendo pescado, piso. Ok, so no. It's first floor. First floor. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Guadalupe, please. After Guadalupe, eh, Walter Muñoz. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Perdón, perdón. Eh, le estoy pidiendo la participación a Walter y Walter no puede participar. Entonces, después de Guadalupe iría Miguel Ángel. Okay, um, house, first floor, dining room, living room, kitchen, laundry room, stairs, yard, garage, and second floor, bedroom, closet, hall, another bedroom, bathroom, and another bedroom, <laughs> and stairs. In the apartment, um, we have a lobby, 
living room, elevator, kitchen, dining room, bedroom, closet, and a bathroom. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Guadalupe. Let's go with Miguel. Okay, uh, apartment. Uh, we have a lobby, and a living room, dining room, bedroom with a closet, a kitchen, and elevator. Perfect. Let's go with the house. Okay. Uh, well, house. <clears throat> First, first floor, we have um, living room, dining Miguel, room. Sorry, Miguel, pero si sorry. se siente mal de la garganta, si, si quieren no se preocupe, right? I got the no, no, house. sorry, estoy bien, estoy bien. Okay, continue. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, stairs to the second floor. Uh, in the second floor, we have a bedroom with a closet, bedroom, three bedroom, with a, a, a hall, stairs, and bathroom. Hey, very good. You were like giving me a description. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Let's go with Mayra, my friend Mayra, please, action. Um, house, first, first floor. Repeat. Dining room, first floor. Mire, mire, mi pronunciation. First. First. So, con, con e, first. First. Yeah. First. First floor. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, um, jar. Second, second floor, Back, bedroom, bedroom, hall, closet, bathroom, garage, bedroom, eh, start, que sabe que no. Uh, stairs. Stairs. Mm -hmm. A apartment. 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 Bathroom. Bedroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, elevator, living room, y lobby. Very good, excellent. Repeat after me, elevator. Elevator. Yes, very good. Thank you, Mayra. That's correct. Vamos con Oscar Otoniel y luego José Pedro. Action, Oscar. House, first floor. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, yard, stairs, and garage. Second floor. Bedroom, hall, bedroom, closet, bedroom, bathroom, and stairs. Apartment. Lobby, elevator, living room. Kitchen, dining room, bedroom, and closet. That's correct. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, okay. Now, let me tell you something. This is for everyone. <coughs> que sus compañeros ya hayan pasado no significa que ustedes pueden estar pendiente de otra cosa. Se van a echar el sueñito, all right? No. Tienen que estar pendiente de la pronunciation. Porque a veces... Como hay bastante vocabulary, yo no alcanzo a tomar todas las palabras que quizás les salen mal. Pero ustedes mismos pueden hacerse como un autoexamen, right? Y escuchar, esa palabra yo la dije diferente y el compañero le acaba de decir cómo es, correcta, right? So you can copy that. Podemos copiar lo bueno. So let's try to pay attention. Aquí en este grupo la mayoría de ustedes tienen muy buena pronunciation. Y los felicito porque hay dos cuestiones. O les gusta o han practicado bastante. O ambas, ¿verdad? Together, que es excelente. Así que tomemos ventaja de eso. Es un buen grupo el que estoy manejando ahorita. Así que, keep the good job. Continúen con el buen trabajo. Now, let's go with Jose. Y después de Jose, Andrea. Hello. 
Jose, Pedro, are you there? <laughs> Perdón, teacher. Oh. Este, host, spirit flow, este, de un row, cute cake, land day row, este, living row, stirred, jerks, José, do you want me to go with you? ¿Puedo ir con usted, José? Bueno. To help you? ¿Sí? Vaya, vamos pues. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Let's open that mouth, José. Abramos bien la boca. Usted está de seguro que los niños no rellenos de los dientes. All right. Living room. Living room, room. Stairs. 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 Yard. Stairs. Yard. Garage. Garage. Second floor. <laughs> Second floor. Bedroom. 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 Closet. Closet. Hall. Hall. Stairs. Stairs. Bathroom. Bathroom. Bedroom. Bedroom. Apartment. Apartment. Bathroom. Bedroom. Bedroom. Hello? Bedroom. Ay, no me diga que se le cayó el internet. Okay, let's continue, Jose. Let's check. Closet. <laughs> Closet. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. Um, <clears throat> kitchen. Living room. Elevator. Elevator. Okay. Yeah, it's the, the internet, Jose. Okay, don't worry, but at least you practice, and that's what I wanted. Let's go with okay. I know not I know that not Gracias. all of you are going to pass. Sé que no todos van a lograr pasar porque de verdad que estoy muy contenta con este grupo porque casi todos han conectado, and that's great. Pero vamos a continuar con la next activity donde sí van a pasar los que no han podido pasar con el vocabulary. Questions to practice. Cha, 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 cha. All right. Vamos a ver. Wendy Lopez, can you read question number one, please? What rooms are in your house? Thank you. Alison and Stephanie, number two. What rooms are in house of your country? Repeat, houses. Houses. Thank you. Jancy de Odanes, number three. What rooms are in apart apartments in your country? Thank you. Now, everyone, these three questions, you are going to answer them on your notebook. Quiero que escriban la respuesta de estas tres preguntas. Luego me van a brindar su respuesta. Con eso yo les voy a dar el aval para que procedan y ya inicien con la sección dos, ¿ok? Y no inicien cometiendo errores, sino que vayan con un buen contenido. What rooms are in your house? In my house. Right. We have. Tenemos y ya empieza. We have a kitchen. We have a living room. We have la, 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 la. <coughs> What rooms are in houses of your country? ¿Qué, qué habitaciones hay en las casas de tu país? In, in my country, the houses usually have, usualmente, ¿verdad? Porque no podemos hablar por todas. Entonces vamos a utilizar usually have. Y empiezan a describir qué rooms tienen. What rooms are in apartments in your country? Inician de otra manera. The apartments 
<clears throat> in El Salvador, have, all right? Y continúan ustedes a escribir. The apartments in El Salvador have a, a living room, a dining room. Usually they have a garage, okay? Let's work on it, please. Trabajemos en ello. Les voy a dar tiempo. Aquí les he dado como el patrón que pueden seguir. Número uno va ligado con la dos, la tres con la cuatro y la cinco con la seis. Ok, para José que viene entrando porque tuvo problemas con el internet, estamos respondiendo estas preguntas, la number one, la number three, y number five. Ok, y la, el dos, el cuatro y el seis son los patrones que tienen para responder las preguntas, las preguntas, ok.
Okay, finished. Yes, no. Almost. Casi, casi, no, no. Hello, hello. <laughs> you can say yes or no. If you have finished, yes. If no, no. Okay. Yes. Perfect, Miguel. What about the rest? Ya tenemos a uno que terminó. Okay. Two more minutes and we start. Dos minutos más e iniciamos, okay? <clears throat> Okay, Miguel, let's start with you. Let me listen to your answers. Okay, teacher. Uh, the first one, uh, in my house, we have living room, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, a little yard, <laughs> bedroom with, with a little closet, and bathroom. Also, a little garage. Everything in the first floor. That's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, yes, that's something that I wanted to mention. Eso es algo que quería, que quería mencionar. Most of the houses in El Salvador only has a first floor, right? Solo tienen primera planta. Some others have second floor, but not all of them, right? At least mine doesn't. I mean, I mean, it's just first floor. Thank you, Miguel. Now let's go with the next one. Oh, let me check. Continue, Miguel, with numbers, number two, right? Porque esa solo es la respuesta de la uno, Miguel. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh... <clears throat> the second one uh, in my country the houses usually have living room dining room kitchen bedroom bathroom yard and garage everything in a first Perfect. Floor, like you said all right, excellent. Thank you. What rooms are in the apartments in your country? Excuse me? What rooms are in apartments in your country? Okay. The apartments in El Salvador have dining, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, bedroom with closet, and shared garage. Perfect. I'm, Thank you. I, I'm not sure see about the... the concept shared garage uh, shared garage you mean compartido garage compartido yes because uh, it's a yes a build, a yes, apartment it's building is that correct a shared garage very okay. good okay. let's go with guadalupe have you finished terminó guadalupe yes perfect so what rooms are in your house Okay, in my house, we have a living room, a dining room, five bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, um, 
little backyard, a laundry room, and a garage. Wait, do you live in a mansion? <laughs> live in a mansion, Guadalupe, at least? No. <laughs> I think that. I think that. <laughs> that yes, <No>. right? <laughs> Yo estoy enfermo, pero no sordo. Como que lo escucho borroso, Guadalupe. What rules are in houses of your country? Okay, in my country, the houses usually have a living room, a dining room. Uh, dining room is next to the kitchen. Um, two or three bedrooms, a bathroom, and a backyard, um, sometimes a garage. Very good. That's correct. Thank you. Great. Uh, well played. Muy bien jugado, right? Ha puesto otras palabras ahí para darle sentido. Great. Justo así lo puede plasmar en la plataforma, Guadalupe. Now, what okay. rooms are in apartments in your country? The apartments in El Salvador have a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, a closet, and a shared garage. Yeah, the same as Michael said. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. It's correct. Okay. They share garage. That's correct. Now, eh, Guadalupe, I need your help. Como ya vio que me estoy muriendo de la garganta, necesito su ayuda. Usted va a preguntar, escoja quién le va a preguntar these three questions. Estas tres questions that we have. All right. All right. Okay, uh, I choose uh, Mayra Xiomara Escobar. Perfect. Mayrita siempre nuestro, nuestro target, nuestro objetivo. Very good. Action. Esta pregunta, Guadalupe. Um, okay. Um, Mayra, what rooms are in your house? In my house, we have the bathroom, the bath, bathroom, the bathroom, the bedroom, living room, garage, kitchen. Continue with the second one, Guadalupe. Okay. Um, what rooms are in houses of your country? In my country, the house just usually have um living room, bathroom, bedroom, garage, kitchen, laundry room. And the third one. And the third one, what rooms are in apartments in your country? The mm. apartment. The apartment in El Salvador have bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, dining room, closet, and stairs. Bravo, very good. Thank you, Mayra. Justo como lo ha puesto así, puede plasmarlo en la plataforma, ¿ok? Ahora, Mayra, selecciona dos personas, una para que pregunte y una para que conteste. Select two people. Cindy, Carolina, que pregunte. All right, perfect. Y... Alison, Stephanie. Okay, she answers. Perfect, action. First, what rooms are in your house? In my house, we have kitchen, living room, dining room, three bedrooms, and bathroom. Excellent. Second, what rooms are in houses of your country? In my country, the houses usually have dining room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, living room, and garage. Very good. And third, what rooms are in apartments in your country? The apartments in El Salvador have living room, dining room, and kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. Excellent. 
Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Wow, Cindy. I felt like you were the teacher for real. Ya casi me sentía yo así que usted era la teacher, Cindy. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Está muy bien. Está bueno que se den apoyo así moral también, all right? Esas cosas funcionan, believe it or not. Okay, my dear students. I know we're still missing people. Sé que todavía no hacen falta personas. Pero... Creo que con los ejemplos que han podido escuchar, saben qué es lo que van a plasmar en el exercise, right? Without being said, habiendo dicho esto, it was a pleasure to be with you in today's class. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes en la clase de este día. Please remember to work on section one. Por favor, recuerden trabajar en la sección uno. Ya este día, levanten la mano virtual. ¿Quiénes la han finalizado? completita. Ok, tenemos a Mayra, Guadalupe, Cindy, Miguel, Allison. Llevamos cinco. Let me check. Allison, Oscar, and Wendy. Perfect. Seven. Ok, what happened with Jose? What happened with Andrea? With Victor? With Sonia? And Walter? Right? Necesitamos trabajar en esa, en esa lección, ok? No puede pasar de este día sin que ustedes hayan finalizado esa, esa section. Los que ya la finalizaron, congratulations, pueden descansar ahorita, pero mañana siguen con la lección 2, ¿ok? Porque ya la iniciamos, ya vieron ustedes aquí que ya la iniciamos, así que pueden avanzar. All right, my dear, my dear students, it was a pleasure to be with you in here, and I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Bye. 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 Good Teacher, uh, una pregunta. Yes. Eh... ¿Normalmente las unidades se realizan um, antes de finalizar la clase o después? Usted puede avanzar, Guadalupe, right? Eh, si usted quiere terminar la sección 2, pero nosotros vamos por la mitad apenas de la sección 2, usted lo puede hacer. De hecho, es mejor porque consigue, creo que es un diploma el que le dan, ¿no? Right? O uh -huh. un pase al siguiente nivel, entonces lo consigue antes. Pero usted siempre se sigue conectando a las clases virtuales. Ajá, ajá. Pero puede avanzar ajá. y eso es mejor porque su mente así no tiene mucho descanso. Sí, es que en mi caso eh, me cayó un mensaje, ¿verdad? <risa> Donde decía de que tenía esta hora para poder finalizar. Entonces yo la finalicé a la 1 y la 2. Oh, perfecto. Excelente. Thank you. O sea, está muy bien entonces, Guadalupe. Hoy sí, descanse, relax, porque toda la otra semana trabajamos con la sección 2 e iniciamos la 3. Mm. Okay. Bye, take care. Bye. Gracias.